welcome, welcome, and good morning, Bethel Worship Center. We would like to welcome all our visitors who are on Zoom today and on via Facebook. We would also like to welcome our visitors and guests who are here in support of Pastor Chung from the church. We welcome you and we thank you and we invite you to worship with us today. And we thank you for coming. So we have a saying here at Bethel Worship Center Church International, once you are here, once you are a guest, afterwards you are family and you're welcome at any time. We would also like to go into our ways to give and remind you about our ways to give. We have our tithes and offerings, of course, and we also have uh, shop.amazon.smile. Your proceeds go to Bethel Worship Center when you choose them as your charity of choice, and we invite you to give in that way as well. We have our daily prayer line at noon on weekdays via Zoom. Just call the number 646-876-9923 and then use the access number 403-734-605. And uh, that is only Monday through Wednesday this week due to our uh, New Year's holiday. So Monday through Wednesday for the daily prayer line. We also have our food pantry, which is open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., rain or shine. There are no restrictions or requirements, so please come out for the food pantry. Contact us for questions, um, also for volunteer opportunities. We also need help with the food pantry, so please, please, if you want to help, please let us know. Our corporate prayer will resume on January 7th, 2021. And then we also have our children's church, which is back. The children's church will resume on Monday, January 4th. We have our sword drills, uh, we have our word finds and our games, and we have praise and worship for the kids. They're having an awesome time, so that will be back on Monday, January 4th. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy 2021 New Year. We thank God for bringing us through this year, and we pray for an awesome year in, in the future. So we just want to wish you a happy New Year from Bethel Worship Center Church International. And also, if you need to contact us, you can always review the sermons. They're on Facebook, they're on our website, and on YouTube. Um, you can also review our announcements on our website. And if you have any questions or if you need anything or just need someone to talk to, please contact us. We are here and we're available to help. If you have any needs, please reach out to us. Thank you. And I'd like to um, turn it over to uh, Mr. Isidore Major. Well, good morning. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, now it's time for tithes and offerings to give back a small portion of what the Lord has uh, uh, blessed you with. Today, I'm going to read out of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses uh, 6 and 7. But this I say. He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity for God's love, for God loves a cheerful giver. Um, basically, it means to, to give, we're giving back to the Lord a portion of what he's given you. Uh, not grudgingly, in other words, um, uh, whatever your heart desires, you, you give it back to him. Um, let us pray. Well, first, before I pray, um, i am give you the options of the ways you can give. You can give through Amazon Smile. Uh, when you go in, you go to Amazon Smile and you choose 
uh, as your um, church, Bethel Worship Center International. You can also give through um, Cash App, that's uh, dollar sign BWCCI, Vidmore at BWCCI. You can mail your, your offering of tithes into uh, 3697 Pepperwood Court, Portsmouth, Virginia, 23703. Or you can drop it off at the, um, the church office by appointment only. So um, make sure you make up an appointment if you're going to drop it off. Let us pray. Father, we come to your throne with humble hearts as we are so thankful for the blessings you give us daily. I pray that as we give your offerings and tithes this morning or this afternoon, that we all would think about the fact that the tithe is yours. It belongs to you. May we never withhold what is yours. Please accept this offering and tithes with gladness. We love you, Lord. We thank you for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. that you are here with us in Bethel Worship Center today. We have an awesome word that is here for you. But first, we want to say Merry Christmas to you again. Merry we Christmas. hope that each and every one of you had an awesome Christmas. We did. Um, we were able to spend time with family. We made sure that we social distance. We had our masks on the whole time. The whole time. Um, <laughs> but we want to uh, welcome you and just tell you how much we love you and we appreciate you. Um, we are, it looks like we're like in Florida, doesn't it? I, I'm feeling like we're in Florida out here. Um, but we just want to say uh, hello and we want to welcome the church out of uh, St. Louis. Uh, thank you all for joining with us today. The church is one of the church plants out of Bethel Worship Center. You all have heard from them um, preaching many times with Pastor Joseph. And today we have a treat with Pastor Tina coming to share what God has put in her. She is going to deliver this word. I know it's going to bless you because every time we share, every time I hear from her, she is always sharing something that is awesome from the Lord. And so we want you to uh, get your Bibles out, get your notebooks out, 
and prepare uh, for the word. And so I will turn it over to Pastor Tina now so that she can deliver the word. Amen. Amen, amen, hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Thank you, co-pastor, for that uh, introduction. I thank and I praise you. It's good to see everyone uh, this morning at our um, family church, BWCCI, as well as our very own church, The Church, where Pastor Joseph Chun is our pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just thank you. As we come to a close of this, this is the last Sunday of this year. And how awesome is it for uh, God to want us to start a new year um, in a new Hashabah, in a new place in him. And I just thank and I praise God for the opportunity to be able to share a word today for the last Sunday of the year. Yes, yes, yes. But I thank and I praise God for the word that he has given. Um, we serve an awesome God. He, he, he is an awesome God. Uh, but I, I just thank him this morning. And I just want to just worship him right now, just give him glory. I just want to thank him for who he is. I just want to honor him. I just want to glorify his name. I want to lift my hands to heaven. I want to just thank God yes, for coming in. I want to thank him for being on the scene. Yes, yes, if you can, yes, just lift your hand yes, and welcome the Holy Spirit yes, into your heart, yes, where you yes, are, where you sit, yes, where you stand. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, because we cannot do anything without his presence. We cannot do anything without his anointing. It's his anointing that destroys jokes. And I just want to reverence him this morning. I just want to thank him. Let him know that I love him today. Let him know that I appreciate him. Let him know that I adore Hashaba. Let him know that I adore him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a sovereign God, a forgiving God, a loving God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. We just bow before your throne of grace, God. Thanking you, God, for sustaining us through this year, for sustaining us through this time, God, through this pandemic, God. We're still standing, God. We're still standing because of you, God. We're standing because of your mercy, God. We're standing because of your grace, God. We're standing, God, because of your unmerited favor. It was nothing that we did on our own accord, God. But it was your mercy, God. It was your love, God. Your unconditional love, God. I just thank you, Lord, for being God of gods and the Lord of lords and the King of kings. I honor you, God, and I bless you, Lord. There's none like you, God. There's none like you, my Lord. In all the heavens or the earth, the angels bow before you, and heaven and earth adore you. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I need him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, bless your name, God. Hallelujah. He deserves our worship. He deserves our praise. He deserves our admiration. Hallelujah. We, he deserves to be adored. He deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be praised. Even when we don't feel like it, he yet deserve it in the name of Jesus. 
God, I thank you. That's wrong. I thank you, God. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just praise him and I honor him. And I bless his name today. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. He is worthy and worthy to be praised. I don't know about you all, but I'm in expectation today as well yes, to hear what God has to yes, say. Lord. Yes, Lord. It's been a struggle to, yes, to kind of get things together and, and, and to focus in and to hear what God has to say. But he knows my assignment. Hallelujah. And I am on assignment this morning. Yes, Lord. And I come to set the captives free this morning. God has given a word to set the captives free so they can start a new year off right in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And, and as we've been going on in, in the scripture of 2 Chronicles uh, 7 and, um, and 14, and the word reads is thus. If my people who are called by my name yes. will humble themselves yes. and pray yes. and seek my face yes. and turn from their wicked ways, yes. he said, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. And I'm going to stop right there. So I want to go back a little bit further and kind of give you a background on why God said that. So see, he was, Solomon had built an altar or a golden or a bronze platform so the people can come and worship him and, and so that they can come before him. And as, David, as Solomon began to pray, he was dedicating this place back to God. So even though, hallelujah, Jesus, even though Solomon was dedicating a building, a place back to God. So what God wants us to do today is dedicate our hearts back to him today. Hallelujah, Jesus. The word begins on at verse, chapter six, verse seven, and it says, yet regard the prayer of your servant and his supplication. Oh Lord, my God, and listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant is praying before you. That your eyes may be open toward this temple day and night, toward the place where you said you would put your name. That you may hear the prayer which your servants make towards this place. So Solomon is saying, Lord, incline your ear. Watch when they come. Watch and hear them when they come, oh Lord. Listen to them. He said, you said you would put your name that you may hear the prayer which, you, which your servants make towards this place. And may you hear the supplications of your servants and of your people Israel. Well, I'm going to put us in there because we're walking in this time and we're in this season. So we're saying we want to want you to make this place that we call that when we call on your name, God, that you will hear us day and night. Yes. That you that we will put your name in our hearts all over again. God is right. Yes, yes, when your servant hear us in this place. As you hear your servants in this place, and may you hear the suppl supplication of your servant and your people. When they pray, or when we pray toward this place, hear from heaven, your dwelling place, God, and when you hear, forgive. So what David is doing, he's making, he's making, he's pleading on behalf of, of Israel. So he's saying to, to God, Lord, when you hear your people come, when you hear them ask you to forgive them, 
when they come to you with their hands raised, when they come, Lord God, asking you to forgive. Hallelujah. Forgive God. He said, or if your people, Israel, are defeated before an enemy because they have sinned against you. So Solomon is, is saying here, he said, if your people are defeated when they stand before the enemy because they have sinned, God, if they do this, God, forgive them. Return and confess our, your name and pray and make supplication before you in the temple. Then hear from heaven and forgive the sin of your people and bring them back to the land which you gave to them and their fathers. Let me just go on and read what God has given me to read. When the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because that we have sinned against you. And when we pray toward this place, Lord, or towards you and confess your name and turn from our sin because you afflicted us, then hear in heaven and forgive the sins of your servants, your people. And when there is famine in the land, pestilence or blight or mildew, locusts or grasshoppers, when the enemy, when, the, when our enemies besiege us, in the land of our cities, whatever plague or whatever sickness there is, whatever prayer, whatever supplication is made by anyone or by all your people, when each one knows his own burden or sin and his own grief and spreads out his hands to this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place and forgive God. And I'm just going to skip down a little bit. It says, when they sin against you, and he goes on to say that none of us are without sin. None of us are without sin. And you become angry with, with us and deliver us to the enemy. And we take them, and they take us captive to a land far or near Yet when we come to you, to you, or when we come to ourselves in the land where we have been carried captive and we repent and make supplication to you, the land of our captivity saying, we have sinned, God. We have done wrong and have committed wickedness. And when we return to you with our hearts, and with all our soul in the land where we are captive, where they have, we have been carried up captive and pray towards the land which you have given us, given to our fathers, the city which you have chosen and toward the temple, which we have built for your name. Because when we, when we become born again, Jesus takes over our heart and we call on his name because there is no other name that can forgive us. There is no other name that can save us. There is no other name that can deliver us. There is no other name that we can call on. So his name is Jesus, hallelujah. And then hear from heaven, in your dwelling place, Lord, prayer and our supplication and maintain our cause and forgive your people who have sinned against you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the, the word goes on to say that when the people prayed, when Solomon had finished praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed. I want you to know that when you call on the name of Jesus, something has to happen. Here, the Bible says that when Solomon finished praying on behalf of the people, fire came down from heaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many of us know that when we get in the face of God, that we can pray down fire from heaven? 
that will consume the sin that we've asked God to forgive us for. Glory to God. I want to go back a little bit and I want to just kind of explain, you know, uh, uh, what sin is. Glory to God. Sin is an offense against God. It's a serious fault. So when we talk about people, we, we uh, do all evil a matter against God, that's serious. But I want us to know that when we, we don't have to stop there, that God has made a way of escape, that when we do sin, when we do uh, talk about our sisters and our brothers and we put them down, when we do lie, when we do cheat, when we do communication, when we do glutton, you know, eating more than we should be eating because we like something so well, so we overindulge. When we overindulge in lying and we, we, we uh, uh, talk about people and we put people down, God is a forgiving God. When we first came to God, we came to him to be free from sin. Some of us was tired of our old ways and our old nature and we needed something different. What sin is, it's a breach of a contract between us and God. And when we breach that contract, then we, it separates us from God. Just like if it's, we, when we sign a contract, a natural contract that's binding between you and someone else, that when we breach that contract, then there's a conflict in there. Then there's some, some, some uh, malice in there. Then there's some misunderstanding in there. And then the relationship can end because we breached the contract, amen? So when we, when we sin against God or against his word, we breach the contract. So God doesn't look upon our sin but he yet had mercy upon us. But when we come to his throne with our hands lifted high, saying, God, forgive me for I have sinned against you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. He, the Bible says is he faithful and he's just yes. to forgive us of our sin. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible says that we are, that everybody has sinned. So nobody's exempt from sin and nobody's exempt because none of us are perfect. Jesus is the perfect one. Hallelujah. The, the breach of a contract is a broken relationship with God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we also can break relationships or break uh, uh, breaches with, with our friends and with one another, with, with distrust and dishonesty. And, and those things can come into play where we uh, <laughs> breach our contract with one another. Because when we have friends and we have our sisters and our brothers, we ought to be able to go to our sisters and our brothers in confidence, or we should be able to go to them and talk to them. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus without breaking the contract of, of, of exposing our faults to everyone. But the good thing is that we serve a forgiving God that when we come to him and ask him for forgiveness, he is faithful. And sin comes, it, it just doesn't always just come like a rushing wind, but it comes, it can come from a thought. We can sin in our thoughts. The Bible says, so shall a man think it, so is he. Hallelujah. So that was a thought. God was talking about the thought of a man, what he thinks. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to God. And um, James says, each person is tempted when he is Lord and enticed by his own desires. The decree or the desire when it has conceived gives birth to sin. And sin when it is fully grown brings forth death. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Don't present your members to sin as an instru instrument for unrighteousness, but protest your, pro protect yourself for God. Amen. Because we're walking this walk so that we can live again. But in the interim of that, we don't want to offend God because when we sin, we offend God. And when we don't um, keep our word to our fellow brothers and sisters, we offend them. And that's not what we're trying to do in this walk. We're trying to offend. We're not trying to offend anyone, but we're trying to get this thing right so that we can uh, live again, so that we can make it to the kingdom. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, I thank you that you are restoring relationships. You're restoring us, God, back to you, Father. Whatever sin that we have committed, oh God, we don't want a wedge to be drawn between us and you, God. But we repent right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, for all of our unrighteousness, God. We would repent, God, for sin known and unknown, God. Lord, we repent, repent. And ask you to wash us, God. Forgive us, God. Lord, we raise our hands to you, God. As a point of submission, oh God. As a point of surrendering, God. Because we know that your word says, God, that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory. But God, we know that you are a forgiving God. You love us, God. That you have forgiven us over and over and over and over again, God. And that you will continue to forgive us, God, for our sins because you want us to be right standing in you, God. You want us to walk this walk, God, in you, Lord God. Help us to not sin in that area, God. Turn us from our wicked ways, oh God that we may turn to you, Father, for help, God. You're the author and the finisher of our faith, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we surrender, God, and we name that thing out, whether we talked about somebody, whether we lied about something, whether we ate too much for the holiday, God, whatever it is, the sin that we've been holding on to, some of us, Lord God, we sin, and we don't even know that we sin. When we, when we walk in disobedience, that's sin. When we hold grudges against somebody, that's a sin. Hallelujah. Because we're supposed to be free. We can't acknowledge God. We can't serve God with our whole heart. And we still have things that are lingering in our background, lingering in our life in the name of Jesus. We need to forgive that one that did us wrong when we was younger. We need to forgive that one that just talked about us and we overheard the conversation. We need to forgive uh, whatever it is that's in our lives in the name of Jesus that we done forgot about. Hallelujah, God, I'm asking you to come in and forgive us, oh God. Forgive us for all unrighteousness, God. Wash us and cleanse us, God. That we may be in right standing with you, God. Forgive us, God, for not saying what we should have said. Forgive us for saying too much, God. Forgive us for not going where you said that we should go and we didn't go, God. Forgive us, Lord, for that faulty thinking, God. Forgive us for having malice in our heart, God. Forgive us for, for coveting something of our sisters or our brothers, God. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, Lord God, that what we didn't do this year, God. Forgive us, Lord, how we 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 were stagnant, God, and 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 we 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 uh, procrastinated, God, and we said I'll do it later, but God's later never came. Forgive us, God. Bless Shabbat. Oh, God, forgive us. Forgive us for those thoughts that we think, oh, God, that are not righteous, that are ungodly, God. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, God. Help us, help us to walk worthy before you, God. Forgive us, Lord. We can't think of everything today, God. But Lord, we make it a, a, a place, we make it a posture in our life to 
forgive you, God, because we know that when we come to you, God, and ask you for forgiveness, that you've already done it. You've done it 2,000 years ago. That when we come before your throne of grace and asking you to forgive us, God, we know that it's already done because, God, we trust you. We trust you, God. Hi, yo, no, stop. We trust you, God. We trust you with our lives, God. We know that if we come to you, God, you are a righteous God. You will forgive us of our sins, God. You will forgive us, Lord God. Those that we need to go to and ask for forgiveness, God. Give us a heart and a mind of compassion, God, to go and ask that person to forgive us, Lord. We don't always have to tell them why, but we just want to go and make it right, God, because we love you. We want to go and make it right, God, because you care for us, God. You've given us an opportunity to go before your people and ask for forgiveness, God. If I wronged you, forgive me. If I sinned against you, forgive me. If I talked about you, forgive me. Hallelujah. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, Lord, right where we sit, right where we stand, God. Lord, make us right before you. Help us, Lord, to repent. Help us, Lord, to ask you to forgive us because you are forgiving, God. You will forgive us, Lord. You forgave the thieves on the cross, God. You said when they crucified you, you said forgive them for they know not what they do. We all know every sin that we've committed, God. But I'm asking you to forgive us today, God, for the sins that we know of and the sins that we don't know. But God, we know that you know all things, God. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, and wipe the slate clean, God. We're going into a new year, God. We're going into a new year serving you, Lord. Let us go in with clean hands and a pure heart before you, God. Lord, when we kneel down to pray, God, Bring it before us, God, that we can ask you to forgive us, God. Bring it before us, oh God, don't let us rest, God. We want to be pure before you, God. We want to be righteous before you, God. Cleanse us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For every thought, every deed, God, Everything that we've done wrong towards somebody, God, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for our faulty thinking. Forgive us for the wrong in our heart, oh God, that we think towards a person that may not even be real, God. But the enemy has put up a facade to make us think that is something that it really isn't, God. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, God. We love you, God. We praise you. And we know that you hear us when we pray, God. Because you said if we did not, if we don't hide iniquity in our hearts, that you hear us always, God. We want to walk worthy of your call. Hey, Shabbat. Hey, God. We want to walk worthy, God. We no longer want to be a part of the world. We want to serve you with our whole hearts, God. We no longer want to be lukewarm, God, but we want to be hot for you, God. Or whatever it is, cold for you. Whatever it is, we want to be all in for you, God. In the name of Jesus. Wipe the slate clean for us, God. Make us new, wash us, and make us new, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, and we praise you. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
and amen. I could have went through a whole lot of different formalities of sin and call them out. You know, we, we have the seven uh, sins of death and, you know, we have other sins that, um, that could have been called out, but we know what we have in our hearts and God knows the unseen and the unspoken and the unheard. He knows all things. And like Solomon prayed on behalf of Israel, I stand before you praying on behalf of us in this nation in the name of Jesus, that God would hear our prayer from heaven and restore us and receive us back into our rightful place that we may serve him wholeheartedly in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God. I praise you and I honor you is my prayer. I pray that someone be delivered and set free. I pray that someone's heart be changed, that they will lift up their hands to God and, and bow before his throne, asking them to forgive him for whatever it is, the deed or the thought that you had in your heart or in your mind, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you and I praise you. And at this time, I would turn it back over to uh to Pastor Dixon at this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. 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 As we go through this new year, thank you, uh, Pastor Tina. Thank you uh, for the word. As we go through this new year, I want to leave you with a thought. I hear people all the time, and they're talking about 2020. Um, and I recognize that 2020, just like several of the years in the past, have been horrible years. But how many of you know this? Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes. And so I hear people sometimes that they talk, and I've even began to hear prophecies of hindsight is 2020. And for the first time ever, hindsight will be 2020. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can see through all the mistakes and all the things of the past. But when I hear people prophesying what 21 is going to be a lot better than 2020. And it seems as if anything could be better than 2020. But listen, here's the thing. One of the things I want you to go with is I want us to go with God. And so regardless of what happens in 2021, if we set our focus on God, if we set us like a thermometer and a thermostat, the difference, if we set ourselves to God, no matter what comes our way, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, in other words, set themselves to me, set themselves on God and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. God says he'll hear from heaven. And he'll for, forgive our sins. Next week, we're going to discuss healing our lands. But I want to let you know that no matter what happens, go with God. God is the same yesterday, for today and forever. And he'll hear you. And look, we joke about this all the time. And I tell people that, look, when I preach and when Pastor Joseph or Minister Tom or Pastor Tom or co-pastor preaches and we tell you some things or no matter who's up here preaching and we say that Christ came to save sinners for whom I am chief. I'm telling you, there is nothing that you can do on this side of eternity that can disqualify you to, for God's forgiveness. God is a forgiving God. And so listen, if you notice Pastor Tina, at some point she just broke out and just started praying for the forgiveness of sins. Listen, there is nothing, hear me when I say this, there's no depth that you can sink that God cannot forgive you. If you don't get one thing out of this year, I want you to remember that there's no depth, there's no height, there's no anything that you can do that would disqualify you from the love of God. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to lead you in a prayer and I'm going to let my co-pastor do it. But if you want to receive Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, she's looking at me on the side of my head <laughs> really hard. But if you want to receive Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, uh, whether you're on Zoom or whether you're on Facebook or Instagram or any of the grams, I want you to, you're going to repeat after us in just a second, but we have prayer 
we're going to ask you to hold on and we're going to pray for you on Zoom in the chat room. But if you're on YouTube, you can reach out to us and we'll pray for you. But listen, if you find yourself, when I think my grandmother used to always say, no matter where you find yourself, God is closer than a prayer away. And all you got to do is just turn towards him. And I used to wonder and I used to joke about it secretly and say, well, grandma, which way do I turn? You told me to turn towards him. And my grandmother would say, you think you slip, but that's just it. He's everywhere. And so no matter where you turn, if you're down, you can look down, you'll still see him and reach him. And you can look up, you can look wherever you are, just pray. And you're only just a prayer way. We can repent. And so we're going to lead you into prayer of repentance right now. For those of you who want to repent and, and, and do that first part, God is waiting to hear from you because he loves you. Amen. 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 So um, I don't know if you began to repent as Pastor Tina was praying slash uh, sharing, but that is the first step to having God, um, your Lord. Uh, Jesus, as we repent, he came and he died on the cross for our sins so that we do not have to live under the burden, under the weight of the sin that we have done. All we have to do is do exactly as Pastor Tina uh, displayed before us. And my prayer is that as she was praying, you were also praying and repenting. And so the first part of receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior is to repent. Um, and then the other part of that is to accept him into your heart. And so we're going to do that now. Um, we are so excited because as we are leaving out of this year, we have just completely prayed for God to wipe our slate clean. As Pastor Tina went in, you hear me? She went in praying and repenting and asking God to forgive us. She did it as intercession on behalf of each of us, but she also did it to model to us how we can pray and repent. So we're going to pray now and each and every one of us, we're going to pray and we're going to go into 2021, new creation, a new creature, new life, completely, completely wiping, wiping our slate clean. God said that he will forgive us as far as the East uh, east is from the west. And so that means that they never touch. He, he, he will remember them no more. And so uh, we're going to pray. We're going to ask Jesus to come into our hearts and we are going to rock on in 2021. Amen. So, and if you have somebody that you want to uh, bring into the kingdom, mm -hmm. Call out their name as well. Call their name, especially if you already are saved. I know a lot of us, we pray this every week. And some of us truly do re, uh, rededicate our lives every week because we feel like through the week, we just were not doing it. you know. And some of us uh, growing up in church, we will go to the altar every week. And there's no shame in going to the altar and receiving God um, over and over again. If you feel like that's what you need to keep you on the straight and narrow with God, you, re you pray that prayer of repentance you ask Jesus to come into your heart, but also know that it's not a requirement that you do it every week in order to be saved. He said, if you just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, that's it, you know? So yes, please continue to go to the altar as much as you feel like you need to, but also don't feel like you have to do that every single week. But we all, as our church, we pray together. One, so that um, those who are praying are not alone, um, but two, just to be a reminder my, just to be a uh, reminder, just like we took communion today, it's a reminder of who God is and what he's done for us. So now <laughs> we're going to pray. Yes. So please repeat after me. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. To die on the cross for my sins. To die on the cross for my sins. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. For loving me that much. For loving me that much. That you would send your one and only son. That you would send your one and only son. On this earth. On this earth. And we celebrate it. And we celebrate it. This time of year. This time of year. That he came to this earth. That he came to this earth. Um, and so, Lord. So, Lord. We ask that you forgive us of our sins. We ask that you forgive us of our sins. And that you make us whole. That you make us whole. We invite, you, Jesus, we invite you, Jesus, to be our Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. 
to lead and guide and direct us and to show us the way of truth. We leave 2020 with all of our sins and cares behind. And we go into 2021 with a clean slate, white as snow, and allowing your blood, Jesus, to cleanse us and make us whole. Thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And if you pray that prayer with us, whether it was the first time, whether it was one of many, all of the angels in heaven are rejoicing. All of us who are already in Christ are rejoicing yes. with you. We are so excited that you are now a brother or sister with us in the Lord. And so we have a way for you to reach out to us. We have many ways for you to reach out to us. And they're going to come on the screen. Um, one of the ways is if you're in Zoom, then you can go in the chat or you can stay online with us. And um, you can uh, go into a break room and we'll pray with people. Um, you can also go on Facebook. Uh, if you're on Facebook, leave a comment in the video now, or you can go to our messenger and leave a comment in messenger. Or you can, if you're watching it on YouTube, you can definitely leave a comment on YouTube. You can email us um, to our email address, uh, bwccinc dot adm office at gmail.com uh, or you can reach out to us on our website there's so many ways that you're able to reach out to us you can call us um and the number is on the screen 757-483-9697 uh, there's so many different ways. We just want to hear from you. So if you pray that prayer, please, please, please um, reach out to us. You can also uh, send in regular mail and just say, hey, um, I received the Lord today or I rededicated my life to God today. So we want to hear from you. We absolutely love you all. Um, we want to say Merry Christmas. That was an awesome word from Pastor Tina reminding us that we can go before the Lord and we can repent and that we can leave the year of 2020 with any and every care that we had, we can go into 2021 as a new creation. So we just want to thank you and we want to bless you on today. Amen. And listen, uh, this year, uh, like I said, it was had a tendency to be a rough year. And this year was one of the first times that we didn't, our whole entire family didn't spend the holidays together. But I want you guys to be safe. Listen, we traded in one or two holidays for the rest of them. And so I want you guys to be safe, enjoy yourselves, call your loved ones. Uh, I got a few calls I got to make today, but I want you guys to know that we love you and we appreciate you. And so we want you to go in peace and enjoy the favor of the Lord. Amen. And so let's pray. Father, we bless you. We lift your name on high, God. God, as we go into this new year, God, we go into this new year with grace and peace. And we go into this new year going and seeking your presence, God. God, this will be the year that we seek you more than we seek anything else, God. And so, God, we love you, God. We honor you. We bless you. And we praise you. And we thank you, God, for getting us here. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. So listen, I want you to go in peace and enjoy the favor of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And if you have any prayer requests um, and you're on Zoom, please stay on the line and we will pray with you. Amen. We love you guys. God bless you.